Wednesday, December 13th, fours up is our workout for today. Kind of like four minute AMRAPs for three rounds. So kind of like 12 minutes of work with a couple minutes of break. Uh, we got some push press and we're keeping with that heavy three for the week since we're going to start building up for our super total in December 30th at the end of the year. Before we finish out 2023, we're going to close it out with a big bang. All right. Anybody who's interested in doing a little bit of weightlifting, uh, we have a small group getting together on Sunday, December uh 17th yes december 17th so if you're interested in working on your weightlifting skills definitely hit me up and we can work on that uh coach mike will be doing a little weightlifting seminar on the 17th so uh let me know if you're interested in that and we can because super total is coming up so you guys want to get on top of that get a little bit of eyes on you a little bit more specific coach mike's your man sunday december 17th let me know if you're in all right our mindset for the day if you fight for your limitations you get to keep them what the hell does that mean so if you are always putting yourself down you're always saying well uh i i can't do that because of this thing and i have this and limitation and this and that or you're always harping on what you what you can't control you're always going to hold that with you you're always going to take that with you that baggage is always going to be there let it go let go of your limitations. You don't have any limitations. You are who you are. You're dealt the cards you got, so let's make the best of it. There are no more limitations. Whatever hand you've been dealt, it's dealt already. Let's move forward and try to make the best of it and get, get everything out of it that we can. If you hold on to it, you're going to keep it forever, so let it go. If it's not anything that's positive, we're going to make you move forward in a good manner. Positive mindset all the way through. That's what I've been preaching for the last, I don't know, eight years, ten years. Who cares? All of it. <laughs> so keep that mindset positive and we'll blast through those limitations and we'll forget all about them. All right. So like I said, push press is going to be a heavy triple for the day. That's going to be based on how you feel and how beat up you are and wh where you're at with your fitness level. All right. Push presses. We are not push jerking. So we're not getting under that weight. We're practicing our push press dip and drive. I want that bar to stack over the top of your head, hand, wrist down to heel keep the hips underneath you the entire time. So depending on how you feel, your heavy triple could be closer to 90% or it could be lower to 75% if you're really beat up. I mean, thrusters and burpees do take it out of me. So it's definitely going to affect how your push press is for today. Uh, so keep that in mind and try to hit something good, but also work on the move as best you can. Don't force anything. Keep your hips in line and stack that weight. Bracing, posture, everything is always most important more than more important than putting more weight on the bar all right our workout fours up is going to be uh four minute amraps for three rounds so three four minute amraps with two minute break quick 500 meter row should take no longer than two and a half minutes uh 20 kettlebell swings these are american so we're going full lockout so your traps are going to take a beating today uh and then sit-ups with the remaining time so Figure that row should take anywhere between 140 and two and a half minutes, depending on where you're at. 20 kettlebell swings should take another 30 to 40 seconds. And that remaining time should be ab mat sit-ups, which everybody should be able to do some version of ab mat sit-ups. If you need to anchor your feet, that's totally fine. If you need to lessen the weight on those kettlebell swings, all we're looking for is that you can control from the hips and legs to drive overhead and get a full lockout and everything fully active overhead. So that's what we're looking for with those kettlebell swings. We're looking at um, sit-ups, touch the floor behind you, touch the uh, feet in front of you. I kind of made a video of this. I'll put it in the, the show notes here. But uh, yeah, it's a pretty simple workout. We're just going to collect reps on the sit-ups, and your top, your total reps of sit-ups is going to be your score for the day. So keep track of what weight you use, what version of the swing you do and how many sit-ups you do and just keep that in your mind put it in wad hopper so that we can keep track of where you guys are at all right and we'll talk about it during your next goal review